Yo, what is going on, ladies and gentlemen? H Factor 66 bringing you some epic Call of Duty Zombies gameplay today. Round 75 on Ascension, running the pack a punch strategy. Possibly the fastest strategy, and this is also probably the safest fast strategy on the map. I really am liking this strategy. It's really fast, it's really safe. And the last times I've ran this, I found I was running it all wrong. The curve you see me doing up at the top at that engine looking thing, I wasn't doing that before. I learned that from watching I ate a 911T's round 186 Ascension world record video that King Jack uploaded to his channel. So congratulations to I ate a 911T for round 186 on Ascension, which is the current world record. And it's been so long since anybody beat Pidgey's or 182 on Ascension. And it's about time somebody finally beat it. Pidgeosaurus had the record for so long. But I know some of you out there have probably seen Hardcore NL's Round 201 Ascension video, and you're wondering why I'm not calling that the world record. Thanks to my good friend Zombie Slayer Wave, he explained why Hardcore NL isn't legit. So, he's not a legit player, therefore he does not hold the world record of 201 rounds. He didn't live stream his game, said it would be too much of a distraction. The reset screen was fake, and I really don't think you can get reset on PC with 8 gigabytes of RAM. Whereas, compared to Xbox, you have 512 megabytes of RAM. And King Jack almost pulled off a 200 with 512 megabytes of RAM, which is quite impressive. But really, a 201 reset on PC with 8 gigs of RAM, I just don't see that happening. Plus, the reset screen is fake. He said he wasn't recording when he got reset. So, he faked his reset screen. So, big credit to the zombie set away for explaining to me why he wasn't legit. Anyways, yeah. Back to this gameplay. I really do like this strategy. It's really safe, it's really fast. And I just gotta hand it to you. I don't know what I would do without it. Just 25 rounds to round 100. La 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 la. I don't know if I'm going for 100 or not, but I'm just trying to beat round 81, which is my current record. And if I do, expect a video of round 82. Because round 82 is when things go nuts. Once you hit round 82, zombies have a million health, which is, cra which is crazy. I also got the crossbow. There we go. Now I just have to get out of here before I die because I don't have quick revive so yeah I did not pull off that mid round pack a punch correctly what you're supposed to do for a mid round pack a punch is you're supposed to get like right up next to the pack punch machine with your last bullet then shoot it as the zombies are coming right up to you so because I didn't do that I had to fire a crossbow shot, so thank you, Mule Kick, and thank you, Awful Lawton. 73, the Awful Lawton saved my life. Got cornered without a Zeus Cannon, and boom, this thing saved me. This is why I love the Awful Lawton. The Awful Lawton is one of the most useful weapons in Zombies. It's the pack a punch crossbow, and it's probably also one of the most underestimated weapons in Black Ops 1 Zombies. Same with the snipers. Those can be underestimated a lot. Because the snipers actually have insane power when they're pack a punched. I was in the mid 30s, and it was like. What was it? Like. In one shot, I was getting three headshots. Though the zombies I was shooting at were already damaged from other guns. 
but still. If I can get triple headshots in the mid-30s with a pack of punched L96, then so can you. So, um, yeah. I kind of like all those guys that just use glitches to get to high rounds because they don't know what it's really like to play like this. Play like actually playing legit, getting high rounds. Because they're just going to be sitting up in the spot where they're invincible. And let's say they get to like 70 something. They're in the 70s with a Zeus cannon. And uh oh, they run out of ammo. Now what do they do? That's a question I've always wondered about those people who just use glitches to get to the higher rounds. Like, what do you do when you run out of ammo in a glitch? Like, say you're in a round where a full Thunder Gun and a full Zeus Cannon wouldn't end the round. You use up all your ammo, but the round still isn't over. And you're just like, how? But I would do a fast trap strategy on this map, but you know the trap strategies aren't very fast on Ascension. And there's really only one trap strategy that's good for high rounds, and that's the dual trap strategy, because there's only two traps on this map, and they're spaced wide apart on the map. It's not really an insta trap because you can't really pull off an insta trap on this map. So the fastest strategies involve the Zeus Cannon uh, and the Thunder Gun. So if you want to go fast, you need to have the Thunder Gun, and you got to be good at doing trains like this. It looks complicated, but this is actually a very easy train to do. However, you want to start doing this when you get to, like, I would say about 40 or so, but I don't know about you guys, but I usually wait to like the high 40s or low 50s before I start running pack punch. But that's just when it works for me the best. And we've hit the end of 75. Haha, <laughs> yeah. Alright, hope you've enjoyed this gameplay of round 75. This recording started part way through round 75 anyways, so yeah. hopefully we'll see round 82. Well, see you next time.